Hey everyone, it's Renfell here. Welcome to another tips video for Enshrouded. And today we are talking about our survivors, the companions that you will find along the way, which help you craft the gear like swords and wands and torches and so on and so forth that help keep you alive in the world of Enshrouded to deal with the shroud and to generally make really cool stuff. So the first and foremost uh, is just, there's five to consider. You have the blacksmith, this is not the blacksmith, by the way, that's the alchemist. You have the alchemist over there, you have the carpenter, you have the hunter, you have the farmer, and after that you have the blacksmith, not in the order that you find them. If I remember correctly, you find the blacksmith first, and then after him is the hunter, and then after the hunter, uh, we got the alchemist, after the alchemist, we got the carpenter, and after the carpenter, we got the farmer. Now, you could choose to do those in slightly different order, but the game does have you get them based on progression. There is a point where you can go get two at once, and then it's just a decision of whether do you go get the farmer or do you get the carpenter first. Um, carpenter is a little more important for building things. So I kind of just want to run through what each one of these does and why they are important for you to have. So if you are going to be, like me, a melee character and you want to be using... Um, any sort of tank type gear like I have and shields and so on and so forth like this, you're going to need the blacksmith. He's over here in this corner. Um, he's the first guy you get. The blacksmith allows you to make a lot of different tools um, because of the fact that you could build a forge once you have him. So you'll notice that when you open him up, he has different recipes that you can make. Some of the things like the, the forge is really important to make metal sheets, um, but also to make other things. You also need to be able to make nails, better axes, um, better everything, um, better shields, better wards i haven't even seen wards oh those like shields and lock picks and of course your armor sets and i'm fairly early on so we don't have a ton of options yet but more options open up as you level so if you're going to be making tank gear and uh you know getting all of the sundries to make other items the blacksmith is hugely important now to make things at the forge you're going to need uh charcoal um for the kiln and that's uh, another reason why you're going to want to get him is because you can immediately stack a stuff of uh, stuff a stack of uh, wood in here and start making your um, charcoal. Now, if you are going to be a ranger or a hunter type and you don't want to use the heavy armor, you're going to want to go get the hunter as quickly as possible because she's going to allow you to make uh, different sets of gear depending on what you want to be doing, but generally speaking, the scout set, marksman set, and ranger set all provide you with different variations on um, uh, the look, but generally the stats are similar. Um, it's mostly ranged type stuff, but you can also make a lot of comfort items like carpets and things, and of course torches and uh, using animal furs and the drying rack. Drying rack is really important for um, using advanced recipes that require additional types of fur and of course um, if you want better arrows the hunter is where you go uh, after the hunter i mean the it kind of depends on if you're going to be going exploration route or if you're going to be um gearing up but uh, there's also the alchemist to consider because if you're going to be playing a mage character um, the alchemist can make the uh, apprentice gear for your wizard for your mage, which is really important, but they also make, and this is probably the most important thing of all, is health potions, survival flasks, and ammo for your spell casting. So you're going to want to get one of these alchemists as quickly as possible if you're doing any type of spell casting. I would argue that even if you're not doing spell casting, you're going to want them sheerly for the health potions alone, because health potions uh, really help out when you're playing. Um, I, I find that these are less useful when I'm playing single player and way more useful in the multiplayer when the game skills uh, scales the difficulty up because the game can get quite difficult and having health potions can help you in the wild. Each one of these can also allow you to um, enhance your equipment uh, if you're going in here and of course there's also the manual crafting which allows you to do general stuff um, and of course you can oops i ran up the wrong stairs you can come over here and use your um workbench as well to build all these other things and a really cool thing is the fact that every time you use the workbench your tools automatically 
uh, repair themselves, which is really, really useful. Now, the other two, um, those are the three you need for gear. Um, then you get into the uh, farmer, which I have not done a lot with the farmer yet, but the farmer allows you to make advanced types of foods and, of course, a seed bed, which allows you to start germinate seedlings and this is going to be for farming so farming soils so this is how you're going to make the best foods in the game it's going to be with the farmer now this is i'm on my multiplayer tune right now which is the character i'm playing on um, our multiplayer game that we play on sundays at noon central so if you want to see us stream and shrouded all you got to do is make sure to check out youtube and twitch because i multi-stream every single day around noon central and beyond that if we can um, and we are playing multiplayer stocking this up with friends um, and it's a lot of fun. One thing to bear in mind before we move into the next stage is that, uh, before we talk about the last two, is that all of your companions are going to ask you to build them some type of sheltered. It generally just uh, means that they have a roof over the head. They want to be in a sheltered environment. Um, so you'll need to have some sort of a structure with a roof, and then you can place them inside, and you'll be able to get the most out of them. Now, outside of those, um, the ones that make you gear, like I said, there's the farmer. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Who can allow you to make foods and stuff? And where did he go? This guy, though. This guy is the one that you really want to become friends with. The Carpenter is the last one you're likely to get. Um, the first four, I feel like you can get around level three or four. Um, but this guy is behind a bunch of level seven mobs. So you do need to either be super stealthy and super careful or go with friends. Um, we went with friends. Uh, we had six of us and it was a it was a super dangerous hour plus mission uh, where we died a few times. Um, there was lots of beetle ads and it was just generally a really, really difficult um, NPC to get to. But once you get to him, um, you could make a kiln here, which is uh, really cool. And then of course you get into the advanced glider um, and then all these comfort items, like different types of beds, different types of banks and tables, stone fireplaces, chairs, benches, bathtubs. Ooh, I didn't see that one before. And, of course, lights for your home. And also going into decorative, like doors, window frames, shelves, ladders, secret doors, and so on and so forth. So if you're into the building of the game, which I would argue, if you watch TikTok as an example, all I see on TikTok is just tons of build videos of people making absolutely amazing things in the game this is the guy that you're going to want to uh, work with immediately because he builds everything cool in the game outside of these basic structures these basic structures like we just built here you could build on your own without any uh, any big um, npcs because you could just make the blocks and build them um, but once you want to get into the advanced structures and beds and so on and so forth, this is the guy you want. So get the carpenter. Now, there's only five of these in the game, the companions that you get. Um, so once you've gotten these out of the way, um, you can expand your recipes and crafting abilities significantly, which allows you to get into the other aspect of the game, which is improving your flame and being able to... Um, uh, explore the entirety of the map so remember in the order of doing this is the first one you're going to get is the blacksmith you'll then be able to get the hunter then you'll be able to get the alchemist once you get to that point to get the farmer and the carpenter you'll need to work with the hunter and alchemist to complete their quests until you then open up the ability to get the farmer and the carpenter once you've got all five of them in your base you need to make sure that they're sheltered um, and have some walls and roofs around your flame altar so you can get the most out of this. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update, daily streams, YouTube, and Twitch. Don't forget the Discord, and hopefully we'll see you in the next Entrouded video. Stay safe, everybody. Happy gaming.